Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got Smokehead High Voltage. It's a cask strength, cask strength version. Boom. And we're going to smoke it. We're going to test it with all kinds of skulls, baby. That's Almost what they do. Punisher style. Dang. I pulled this out. I didn't even look at the label, and I figured you had a smokehead. This is Canadian peated whiskey. I like their regular offering. They do well, throw skulls and scary stuff all over. It's not place. Canadian. It's not Canadian. No, I thought it was Canadian. It, the first bottle that we got, I think the liquor store bought in Canada. This really? is this is uh, it's it's from Scotland. Oh, it's a Isla single malt Scotch whiskey. Wow. Yeah, distilled and bottled in Scotland. I, th I think it's just the first bottling, the, the liquor store where we, where we got they, it. You're right, because it was a 100 it milliliter bottle or something, wasn't it? It was something weird about it. I thought it was full regular size. I don't think it was 1.75. It was, and it wasn't and 750. Now that you say that, we I ought to check remember. because even the if if we did a video with it years ago, we might have said it's from Canada. We might have. I think but. we did. So this is a high voltage smokehead. It's a cask strength version. Hmm. Uh, and I thought it just until now when I looked and saw Isla single malt, I thought this was a blend. So this must be sort of an independent <laughs> bottler um, they, sourcing. They were smoky. They are bold with their death's head. And we were pretty, I was pretty new into the uh, peat world where I was buying anything that was peated. I don't think it's on the shelf. You used to have one sitting back there for a long time. Yeah, I might have killed it. We'll see. I've got another one back in my office that is the 18 that I don't think I've even opened. I love the death's head. But it can feel a little bit nationalistic. <laughs> so, um, Did you do Ian, Ma Ian McLeod? Distillers Limited. Wow, it smells good. It's got uh, clay. Deeply rich, intensely peaty. This whiskey hits all the senses with a rush of black smoke, creamy, nutty notes, and a tangy sea salt finish. Mm -hmm. Distinctive, full on, and definitely not Pe for the timid. Ooh, not for the timid. I it get says. it. Yeah, I it's right there on the label. Not for the timid. It says it. So I get a uh, I get a clay smoked. An earthy clay smokiness with citrus tannins rolled in and touches of sea salt. It doesn't indicate, but I'll tell you, when I sampled this the other night, I was pretty sure I was getting a sherry influence with it. But let's see what we're getting today. And the color almost indicates that. Hmm. It does not indicate wow. natural color, but I'm going to wow. assume. Well, you don't know. you got to assume true. the other way. If they don't tell you it's it's unchilled and no color added, they probably did. Well, 58% is probably unchilled filtered. Wow. Uh, peat on the nose, a blast of it. Mm. Spicy. Mm. Let me try the puff technique. I already sipped it. I over puffed. <laughs> that was, a, that was a, a maximum puffing. Um. Oh. Earthy, yeah. Earthy campfire, yeah. Peat with touches of mint, yeah. And <laughs> if anybody, like, if aliens were watching and we're going, <laughs> it looks weird. Just saying. Black, spicy black tea. Okay, I could see that. Hmm. Huh. Truffles, dark chocolate truffles. Yeah. Yeah, there's some chocolate rolling out of there. Hmm. Gosh, that is a beautiful nose, though. This again, why I like beet. Mmm. Mm. Chocolate truffles was good because it's earthy and clay-like. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. death head still scares Ooh. me. Mm -hmm. I'm sticking with my sherry influence. I, I, I believe there is such a dark sweetness on this with the peat. It's a blast of peat. Mm. It's a blast of uh, of just earth, M muddy earth peat. 
dark, rich, sweet notes. Hints uh, which, of tobacco in the finish. Which leads me to the the sherry. Mm. The, I get, I get a tobacco it. leaf in the finish. Mm. And um, what is it? It's like a sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, a sweet, it's not, it's not quite caramel though. Mm. Mm. Um, wow. It's almost like Boy. a sweet clove Ooh. tobacco. This is good. I know, it is, this good. is good. It is good. Why'd you bring it? You got to bring over one peat at a time. We have <laughs> two peats because I want to yeah, covet. I want to covet the peat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dang. Tobacco juice. I hate to say tobacco spit, I know. but <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's there's a that doesn't. I get tobacco leaf. <laughs> Not that I want to drink tobacco. There was a no, different no. There. I wouldn't want that. Don't you get a little leaf was, though? Because I get a yeah, little like yeah, tobacco. Uh, it was just kind of. It was a juicy tobacco. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like the the oils from the tobacco are leaching out of the leaf. Is how I get it, and I don't smoke. Nor have I ever. I get ginger. It almost reminds me there was like the blackjack gum, but there was a ginger gum. Uh, and I can't remember what it was called. And it kind of reminds me of that ginger flavor and nose. This doesn't come off as 58% at all. You would it, think 58, it's going to yeah, sock you in the it, mouth. It doesn't. Wow, that it's is great. Very nice. Wow. Hmm. Smokehead. Yeah, it's an. You think it's an independent bottler? Mm -hmm. Distilled and bottled in Scotland. Hmm. They're doing some good stuff. Do you know a distillery named Smokehead? <laughs> mm. 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 I don't think I'm going out on a limb when I say definite sherry God, influence. Dang. The God. dark richness. Yeah, there's it some. Is rich. There's some plum. It I is. I just rich. got some plum. Man, I can't get the plum. I got some dark fruits. God, I got the tobacco again. Mm. Rich tobaccos, rich peat, mm. rich earthy mud. Is it a Monty Python skit where they there are two dudes that are in like German uniforms with the death's head though, and they're like, we can't be the good guys. Oh. We have. We have skulls. We have skulls on our uniform. I haven't watched Monty Python in a long time. <laughs> the boy, my 14-year-old's into Monty Python. So I've been watching a lot of uh, different Monty Python things. Mm. Man, god dang. This is why I love peated whiskey. Um, to try to give some notes again, I, I'm still not... God, I can't quite get what you're saying on the sherry, but it does have a sweetness to it. It's a sweet, a sweetness. But it's it's not a a citrus no. sweetness. It's not a light. It's not you know uh, apples, pears, mm -hmm. oranges, anything along those almost lines. Almost like it's, it's like raw darker. sugar cane or something. It's darker. It's almost like a raw sugar cane. Darker, dark, dark. It's like a raw sugar cane sweetness. Uh, with a uh, mm. with a clean, what you need, what you need, what? Water. I've had like I know six sips of this neat. Yeah, and I just realized I haven't even put up uh, any water in. It. You don't need, it, but I'll do a drop just <laughs> to see if it changes. This is something though. <laughs> I get vanillas Ooh. coming through. I'm mm -hmm. trying to ignore the tobacco. The tobacco leaf is all over this. Not the usual vanilla, though. I suppose there's some bit of salt. in there somewhere. A little bit of salted caramel. What are they saying on their notes? That Nothing pushing? that's not on the bottle right there. Okay. Hmm. God dang, that's good. Let's see. I hear something. Oh, really? And here's it. A, a rush pamphlet. of black smoke, creamy, nutty yeah. notes, and a tangy sea salt. I do get the sea salt finish. Uh, distinct, full on. Not uh, for the timid. <laughs> not for the timid, it says right on there. Oh, okay. Mmm. God dang. Uh, the Smokies are great as we move into fall and winter. There's nothing better than a smoked, peated whiskey as the snowflakes fall. 
Mm. I got my score ready. God dang. 92. <laughs> <laughs> the Pete just puts me in a happy place. I'm just telling you. God, it just, it's unmistakable. It stakes its flag in the ground and it says, here I am. Come out, peep me. A drop of water helped this. I don't know. Even at me, it's very good. A uh, drop of water made it mm, creamier. It's, it's great. Um, I was actually going 93. Mm. This guy, Pete, we just did Pete Monster, gave it a 91. You gave it a 92. I was like, this is better than Pete Monster. It's got to have a higher score. It's in the same realm. Same realm, better. Good. Much more. Better. Very, very good. Much more. It's much um, more. Hold on. I had a drop of water in it. I liked it with, I liked it neat. I liked it with a drop of water. Let's see if I like it with two. I'm pretty sure I will. I would say if you are not a fan of the peat, this would not want, you wouldn't want this to be your entry level. It is bold, but this is the kind of peat that like if you're a mid-level peater, this is good. This isn't into, there's no antiseptic here. There's no iodines. To me, this is the tobacco. It's sweet. Uh, there's almost nothing in it. Now, I think I because just, you did that, I got to add Nope, nope, just try it. Okay. I just, I think I just added the fourth drop to Look mine. It's, at, it's getting. Look at that. I got nothing in there. Still it's, good. To me, I think it's really helping with the mouth feel and Damn, the, lon it's, it's the longevity of it. It's really kind of making it drag on. It helps some of those Pete, cannons grab Pete on. will linger. One of the best things about any peated dram is in between the sips. So um, one of my favorite things to do is pour a peated dram, watch a movie with my wife, and she'll note it. First, she can smell it from the glass. Two, I'll sip, I'll pour an ounce, and then I'll just sit there and be enjoying it for up to five minutes sometimes. And she'll be like, uh, every once in a while, she'll go, give me a taste of that. And she usually won't like it. But um, an ounce will last you an hour with a good peat. Four drops, still delicious, but almost too much water. At three drops, I liked it and it brought out, I got a lot of, just some different chocolate notes that I hadn't gotten before. Um, I gotta watch out. I can get, I can get jacked up on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, $80, oh. 80 $85, well worth it, Yeah, well Be worth it, beautiful. this is, there's there's peated bottles out there of this caliber going for $140, $150. Yes, I would agree. I want to throw out one thing. I almost want them to step away from the death's head. Woo. Yeah, I feel like it's, Why? I think it scares folks. Good. <laughs> What? I don't want. What, you want like a it's like the, on there? No, but it's like the Monty Python thing. Did it trigger you? You want? No, it doesn't trigger. Like, but if you put a death safe, head on, it, you need a safe place. You got to go wind down. I, take some breath. I, unlike you, I still live in the danger world. <laughs> you live in the safe world. You've retired. I don't like the skull. Like I mm. have immersed it's, myself in the. Depths of, of Here, danger. Here's how you got to look at it, though. <laughs> okay. Yes, the average person in the liquor store may go, I ain't buying that. I know. It looks scary. And then you walk in there and you go, oh, there's six of them on the shelf. I'm, I'm taking them all. <laughs> I'm going to take all them skulls with me. I don't know if Put I could take there. them all at that price. But um, <laughs> I know. But I just, look at the, the winds blowing, the skulls slowly disappearing. I don't know. It just seems militaristic. And I was in the military, so I mean, I get it. Oh, sorry. Just a little bit. I know. I like it though. I like the fact that it will scare away the timid. I think I think it's well worth it. And I'll probably oh, we might have to go pick up another if they still yeah, have some. Yeah, yeah. We've got a rule here, and thank you to you Patreon fans because if we both like something, we used to sometimes Greco Roman wrestle in the nude. We have. Maybe not in the nude. Not more than three times. <laughs> On occasion. All right. And when we both like something, it was always a struggle on, eh, who gets to keep we, it? So I was thinking, it was just this morning, that we need, what was our, it was like a, um, 
we needed a, a phrase for it or a word for it for like the, a bottle that makes it into our you know must have list. And I can't. I'm going to have to think now what that is. Could it, it was like an scrum, award. It was like a medal. Scrum delicious. Something. Oh, no, it was sorry, not scrum delicious. I just wanted to use scrum like we could have a scrum like a fight. Um, so scrum delicious was not your thought. <laughs> is that from the old Walt Disney uh, movie with the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? Scrum delicious. Yeah. And I, I would not know that, but I loved as a child. We would watch Chitty Chitty, Chitty, Chitty Bang, Bang Bang. Yeah, <laughs> the, the whole song there is 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 I couldn't sing it, but it's in my memory. Um, Scrum Delicious. I do like it. You know what I saw recently though is that they were in that movie, weren't they? Um, weren't they? Or wasn't he a chimney sweep? Yes. And there was some deal that the coal on them, they were trying to modernize it, that they were actually, well, we won't even go into it. Go look at this scandal. I just got like a, we haven't said it, cigarette ash uh, with four drops of water. It's down, it's a little lower than I like it. I liked it uh, at a higher ABV, four drops was too much, but I did just get some. Smell that. That's un, just untainted. Try right? that with the four drops. I haven't put drops. any water in it at all. Let me go back. So you got watered down, I got neat. That's good. Mm -hmm. Even with water, that's good. And I pick up more yeah, but, caramels in yeah. there with the water. It's it is softer. better. Yeah, much more. Here better. it's punchy. Neat. Much more better. That's how you open. Let's wrap it. Yes. Sorry, we could go all day. Um, did we, we did. Yeah, we scored it. It's worth it. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. So hunt you, dummies. dummies. Scrum delicious.